Okay, what's up YouTubers? Welcome to the garage. Tonight I've got this, uh, this is an older model 026. I rebuilt it and ported it out I think last year and uh, I sold it to a guy and I hadn't used it much and uh, it's having a little trouble idling. It, it just wants to hunt around a little bit. Uh, it doesn't want to always idle perfect. Uh, it's not bad but I'd like it to be a little bit better. So yeah, I, I used the uh, original uh, fuel line and impulse line, which uh, I'm thinking there's a hole somewhere, so I'm just going to go ahead and replace both of those. So I already took the covers off, the bar chain off, all of that stuff. Now I'm going to go uh, fishing for the gas line here. Tank is uh, empty, dry, uh, I mean nothing in it. So, first, get the filter out like that. This is a, a cheap-ass aftermarket filter. Don't, don't do that. Uh, that's what I had. That's what I put in there. I had planned on changing it all out, but uh, I guess it's time now. So, let's see how well can you see in here. Right there is the fuel line where it attaches to the carburetor. get a hold of that sucker and she pulls right out pretty damn easily uh, I've already checked this for leaks I can't find any leaks everything seems to be sealed up good but uh, look at the difference here this is the original hose filter and it's huge compared to that one and then uh, the carburetor end is a monster too pretty well blown out so that could be causing some leaks right there then uh, hopefully you can see right there is the hole where I'm going to feed it back in. These aren't too bad to do. These older ones have got a, a real short fuel line on them for some reason. And as far as I know you can't put the newer ones in there. But that'll go in just like so. Then we're going to go back in the tank. I think you can see the hose over there. Get a hold of that hose and just gently pulling and pushing at the same time. Might need a, a small screwdriver to help feed it in there. get that sucker to pull all the way in, the grommet all the way in there. We're almost there. It's a, you know, it's a tight squeeze getting it in there, but it'll go. Don't give up. There. So that's popped into there. Now, got a nice new steel filter. See, these lines are short, so you really gotta stretch them. Which, I don't know, it just doesn't feel right to stretch it that far. But there's no other way to get the, the filter on it. So, I guess it is what it is. Make sure that the filter is all the way into the hose, which it is not. Yeah, it is. Okay. Make sure it's all the way on that barb. And then, the hose will just spin around. and slide back into the carburetor, which I'm not going to hook that up right now because I'm, I'm about to pull this carburetor off to do the uh, impulse line. So we're done in the tank. Let's get the cap back on there. Right. 
turn the saw upside down, there's one screw. Hold on to the handle here. Take out the one screw that's holding the handle. There's the screw. And then the handle will just flip up like that. And don't worry if the trigger and some other things fall out of there, that'll be just fine. Mainly what we're trying to do is free that linkage up. Now with an 8 millimeter, I thought it seemed dark in here, I was missing a light. Oh, let's see. I'm at my usual level of preparedness here. Almost not at all. 8 millimeter with a, a deep well, what I use, I guess you can do what you like. Just two nuts and the carburetors off of there. And then if your fuel line was connected, which ours isn't, you'd disconnect it now. And then I usually just get a hold of this linkage and the carb will pull right out of there like so. Uh, you know, the linkage will come out like that. We can set all of that aside. And then you can see down in here, that's the impulse line. Now that guy's going to be a little more difficult to change. So let me just get ready for that and then we'll come back. Okay, uh, I'm trying to get an angle where you can see in to the impulse line so way down inside at the end of that screwdriver right there is that impulse line and it's on a nipple so a screwdriver we'll get it off of that nipple well, you can see yeah, right there's the nipple and then it should just pull out of here like that yeah it is an original steel I thought it, well, I don't know if it's original but it is a steel no less Here's the new one, you know, and it's formed to where it should help you get it in there. It really doesn't help, but see, so you got some uh, little bit of wear on the old one there, and you know, the other side really looks okay. So I'm actually going to get some air. I'm just going to blow that clean in there. I'm just going to put my thumb over the boot, and this might be a little noisy, so I'm going to turn your headphones down. Go ahead. Okay, here we go. Alright, that wasn't so bad. Now he's all nice and clean. So, you're going to want it to angle that away, and then just stick it through the hole, and then this is where it gets pretty doggone difficult, because it's got to go back onto that nipple, and there is just no good way to reach it. So you're coming at it with all three of your hands. Got it there. Got it on the nipple. Push it in there. I may have just gotten it. Yep, it's on there. 
That actually went pretty easy. I've never used those forceps. I think they're called forceps. I've never used these thingies before, and that really went well. I just went in through that crack and threw it right on. So right down inside of there, I think you can see. Yeah, see it's not quite on that nipple all of the way. So I'm just going to take the screwdriver and it pushed right down on there. So you can see that's all the way on there. Zoom out. Oh, try not to get my big pot belly in there. Okay. See, it's not quite seated in there all of the way. Now you don't want to, you don't want to be poking here at the hole at all, but you can poke a little bit around the edges. You can even put a little drop of oil on there if you need to. But I'm always worried about the oil making it want to slide back out too. But this guy's going in really tight. Oh boy, the dog found a tiger out there. I don't know if you can hear her. She's going to kill it lion or a tiger okay that all looks good the boots good you can see the piston in there everything looks good there so I'm gonna spray this actually I'm just gonna take air and blow this carburetor off be right back okay we're back so carburetor goes on pretty easy uh, as it slides in, it'll plug itself right into the, this is uh, the impulse line connection there. So just make sure that these wires don't get behind it. Slide it on up there. And then get the fuel line. On. Get that wire out of the way there. Come on, guy. This is going on much, much tighter than the used, the old one, rather. So that's a good thing. All right, that's on there. You can see the impulse line just plugs itself in as you go along. You find two nuts here. No dose. Now I like to just snug them both up. Go till the see the carburetor move in a little bit. Just kind of go till it just starts to seat the carb a little bit. Okay, then I'll come back to this one. I'm gonna snug it up. Back this one, then I can go a little tighter. Not too tight. Good and snug. Should get it seated down nice and flat. Now the linkage goes in like this. Usually, let's see, yeah, that's it, that way, right, so like this, and if you go in here, you can push the throttle down and then hold it with that finger, today my fingers are not cooperating, so I'm just going to hold the throttle, <laughs> my ass kicked here okay you can just pull the throttle open a little bit hope you can see see inside of there just hold that open just a little bit 
And then the linkage sort of slips in behind there. Killing me. All right, now I got her good and open there. Okay. Phew. The ass kicker right there. Heard my French. Okay, so with the linkage in there, that's now connected to the throttle. That actually can go into this hole on the trigger, but. So this piece, put the, the spring in that groove, and slip this sucker down in there. Now you got to get the, the linkage in there. This sometimes takes a few hands. things just want to fall apart on you here. Everything's fighting against you. Alright, I was trying to get you a better view, but not today. Okay, so there she blows. You can see the throttle is working, the lock definitely works and we'll get the one screw back in the handle nothing crazy tight on that it will damage it okay that's about it fuel filter fuel line Impulse line, pretty simple. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, put them in the comments. Um, you know, hope you liked the video. Uh, if you did, you give me a thumbs up. That'd be awesome. Um, if you like what you see, you know, I'll be doing uh, plenty more. Uh, you can subscribe if you want. Also, have a good one.